to BLS Recreational Mining Small Scale. My name's Brian. Harry's on the camera. Today we're going to do part two of uh, carbon filtering. Now, if you look right up here in my hand, you'll see the activated carbon pellets. That's just basically charcoal compressed and steamed to open up the pores and the charcoal. Everybody just calls it carbon. If you want to learn everything you ever needed to know about carbon, go to the Chemex site. We'll have a uh, they have a 49-page brochure about carbon. Everything you need to know about carbon leaching is probably in that PDF. I wouldn't wouldn't try doing any carbon leaching until you've looked at that. It will answer a ton of questions. If you saw the other other uh, video, you notice that we're using a Brita household cartridge filters. And on the inside of the cartridge, we put 100 grams of carbon. It only came up part way. I didn't like that at all. Um, it takes a little bit of pressure to push water through one of these filters. So it was going through extremely slow. It also had a perfect chance to uh, short circuit. Basically just go through the filter before it even got down to the carbon. Go down the outside and then come up the middle come out the tube back in the reservoir. So that might be good if we actually filled one all the way up but and then used a larger pump. But we're not going through that much trouble. We're not filtering that much. This is probably an easy thousand grams. And you can see that it sheds. So um, you will want to rinse your carbon before you use it. And it will shed, continue to shed, even after it gets wet, after you've rinsed it. Look in the bottom of the barrel. You can see that it's been shedding. And you don't want that to go to your uh, settling pond, your tails pond. So we will take this, we will decant this uh, spent leach, reuse it. And then sweep up that dust and then ash it with the rest of the carbon. Okay, here's our second generation. We've got a one inch PVC pipe that's probably full to about there with 100 grams of carbon. We're only leaching 25 pounds of uh, concentrated ore. 100 grams should do us real well. This is a screw-on vacuum screen for the intake of a water pump. This is supposed to keep crash out. Right now we're using it to keep carbon in. And as you can see, we're getting fairly good flow. And we're just using a cheap fountain pump to circulate. This has been going for two days, so this is done. This was probably done in... Uh, eight hours. This thing would have taken a week or two to get it done because it was barely a trickle coming through. Carbon collects metals out of solutions. Now we're gonna I'm gonna find out if it collects the iron or not. I don't quite know but it does a really good job on precious metals. We're going to take the iron, we're going to, uh, sorry, we're going to take the carbon, we're going to ash it in an enclosed, nearly enclosed container. And then what's left will be carbon ash and precious metals. Then we are going to smelt those carefully with a silver coin of an exact weight pure silver and then we're going to weigh that silver after it's been smelted and see how much of the precious metals it picked up 
then we XRF that coin again, or what's left of that coin, and we find out what metals it picked up and what percentage. Okay, a little back to this. For those of you who might want to build one, half inch vinyl tubing, hooks at a pump with whatever fitting works for you, half inch to half inch brass fitting, half inch barb to half inch thread, then half inch uh, reducing PVC bushing to three quarter inch. Then we've got a three quarter inch threaded to one inch slip, one inch PVC. Next time you see this video or see a video from us, your, this pipe will be a clear pipe. We'll be able to look inside. Now if you're using, depending on what you're using to raise your pH for your leach, we're using Eco Gold X, so we can use either sodium hydroxide or lime. I use sodium hydroxide because I don't want to put calcium in because one of the problems you might hit with carbon is you will get uh, calcium uh, scale starting to form on top of the carbon blocking the absorption depending on how much lime you have to put in. So I like the sodium hydroxide. It takes very little to get your pH up to 11 and a half. There is a perfect, there is a correct pH apparently I found out for doing uh, carbon absorption and that's about 8 pH, uh, pH is about 8. And I think that's about all the time we want to spend on this. I'm sure you're going to have questions. So at the end of this video you'll see my email. Uh, feel free to comment. I do answer all, most of the comments. Uh, good luck, happy mining.